Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. I'm Alex, that's Kirby. Today we're going to be reacting to Dave Ramsey, so check out this video. I've owned over 2,000 pieces of real estate in my life. I've got several hundred million dollars worth of real estate today. One thing I know for sure is if you tell me the renters are going to pay the payments for you, that tells me you've never managed rental property. That tells me you've never done it. That's 100%. Not, you are a novice at best, an idiot at worst. And um, I mean, that's the truth, because... Anybody who's ever had a renter and, or been a renter, and I have both, I've been a renter too, it knows that sometimes renters don't pay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's cancer. Sometimes there's car wrecks and job loss. Sometimes there's a pandemic. Sometimes dot, 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 dot. It's, you know, as if there's a perfect stream of every month, the rent is going to come on time or early and you can pay your stupid little payment. And that's the most ridiculous assumption, which indicates a lack of experience or knowledge of how rental property really works. All right, Kirby, this one applies to you more than me. I know it's coming to me, um, but I do not have this experience yet. So how is this? And I, and I understand it's better to have multifamily properties in this situation. Hmm. What what Dave Ramsey said is absolutely true. And this is a pet peeve of mine that I have with a lot of the social media influencers. They only give perfect world scenarios. In a perfect world, every month the tenant is going to pay the rent. Every month the tenant will be on time. Every month there won't be an excuse. Every month there will not be any maintenance. And that's all a, fall a fallacy in this world. The only thing guaranteed with rental properties is problems are going to happen. So when people have this great illusion, this great uh, misconception that because I have a rental property, everything's going to be all right and it's going to go perfect. Uh, a couple of weeks, I was meeting up with a guy out here, old friend of mine, who was talking real estate. He hasn't received a rent check in six months and the family moved three other families in the property. So dealing with that eviction process without collecting rent. That's what happens. Uh, the not having that cushion, not having that cushion for when they don't pay the rent for this guy. Luckily, he paid off his property. But for people, most people have mortgages. If you believe that your tenant is going to pay that mortgage every month and you don't, if you're and you're not prepared for it, you will be screwed. I mean, me, I'm multi, multi, multi problem uh, properties in, and I have a unit, and it's a single family unit where I don't have a tenant in it. The mortgage comes, I still have to pay. That's what happens. The the realness is those are the things that's guaranteed to happen. And what he said, cancer, excuses, uh, I didn't get my paycheck this week, I got laid off this week. All of those things come in. I mean, I got tenants burning down, burning down properties. I, I didn't seen it. I didn't seen uh, somebody broke into my car the day that I was about to go pay the rent check and stole my purse. All of these crazy things happen right when it's time for rent to be paid. So that have that illusion that, oh, the tenant is just going to automatically pay my rent and I'm going to be fine. If you live in that illusion, then you'll be in trouble. But was, what questions you got on it? Yeah. How often would you say it happens? I mean, maybe for those that are beginning in real estate. And does it happen less in, does it matter what area you're investing in? Does it, you know, does that affect um, the amount of times that you'll encounter someone that's not paying rent? The more, the more, Units you have, the more people you have to deal with, the more frequently we hear just the power of numbers. You know, you have more people. I mean, but that goes into screening. That's I mean, even you got a best screening, you know, tenant screener there is, you know, even if you have property manager or whatever. But a property manager, I mean, when you screen a tenant, it's not, you know, like like you said, somebody catching cancer. You can't screen for that. You don't know that the person been working there for 15 years and going to get they get laid off, you know, three months into the game. You can't screen for that. 
But those are things that that happens. So that is when you hear people just saying, oh, yeah, the tenants going to pay. If they're not telling you to, hey, you need to have a buffer, an emergency fund, a cash cushion to absorb those blows, then you're you're in you're in for a hard time. Um, when you say, do it matter where you invest? That's why, you know, Alex, I'm a big proponent of multifamily, multifamilies, you know, twos, threes, fours, you know, and I mean, if you want to go to commercials, you know, six, eights, twenties, whatever. But the reason why is because when you have a tenant, when you have a tenant not missing, and we just talk about the structure of the property, uh, because you pay it, you're not paying it per unit, you're paying it per property. But if one tenant is not paying, then you have the other tenants paying and it could still afford that structure. I mean, I have I have a fourplex right now in Georgia where is one tenant that's not there. But I don't have any problems because we got three other tenants in that same building that's that's paying the rent to pay the pay the mortgage. I mean, actually two more tenants could leave and I can still pay the mortgage with it. But still, that's but that's the, you know, that's the avenue and that's the uh, give you an extra, you know, line of defense if you're playing in a multifamily space so you're not you're not sitting there. But still, no matter what you have, you always got to have a cash cushion that can absorb the blow. A recession can show up at any time. A run on banks can happen any time. COVID can happen any time. And you have to be prepared as an owner to absorb those blows. Because you signed the mortgage, when you signed the mortgage, you didn't say, hey, the mortgage will be paid if the tenants pay me. You said the mortgage will be paid every month, no matter what, because you signed your name on it. So you best you better prepare to have the finances in place to pay that when that time comes. And don't believe that everything's gonna work out perfectly, that your tenants are always gonna pay because life happens. All right, guys, with all that being said, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.